Hey guys, it's Manelli Jamal here. I'm a solo acoustic guitar player who focuses mostly on uh, percussive elements, slapping elements, as well as some tapping as well, and kind of using them all together to just make the guitar sound as big and full as possible. The exercise we'll be looking at today is gonna incorporate some finger style picking patterns, as well as some percussive elements combined with it as well. So let's have a look at what we're gonna be looking at and break it down for you. Okay, so let's have a look at the chord progression first, and we'll kind of look at the right hand pattern that I'm using here. Um, the chord that I'm using here is just a G chord. Um, what I'm doing here, I'm using my first finger on the third fret of the low E string, then I'm using my second finger here on the fourth fret of the G string, so we get a nice G chord. Um, then for, this is followed by a D chord, a D slash F sharp, if you want to get technical about it. Um, what I'm doing here from the switch, I'm using um, my first finger again for the, for the low E string on the second fret then my second uh, finger on the second fret of the G string, and lastly my third finger here is gonna be on the B string of the third fret. So now we have this chord. So we get the G chord followed by the D chord. Lastly, we have the E minor chord, which we've played in the previous uh, lessons here as well. Then we're gonna go back to the D chord. So now if we were to play this, just even strumming it, we can get a nice progression. So this is how it would sound. So this is a pretty simple pattern here. So what we can do just to spice things up a little bit is look at the right hand now. Uh, this can really kind of uh, make a composition really shine, in my opinion, by just adding a few little things with the right hand. What I'm doing here uh, with the right hand, I'm using my thumb always on the low E string, so it's never changing. My thumb is always gonna be taking care of all the low E string notes. What I'm doing here with, my, with the G string, I'm gonna be using my middle finger here, um, pinching it out at the same time with the thumb like this. Okay, now the pattern, uh, before we add the percussive elements, let's just go through the actual finger picking pattern first, then we'll kind of look at the, the elements of uh, the percussive side as well. So here's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be pinching the, the first two notes here with the thumb and the middle finger. Then we're gonna be using our first finger on the D string to just play it open with my first finger here on my, on my right hand. After this, I'm gonna be using my thumb again on the low E string. This is gonna be followed by another D string with the first finger and then a second finger on the G string. So now we have this. Okay, we can apply this pattern now pretty much to all the chords, so it should sound like this. So this is simply one way of looking at it. And what we can start to do now is we, could, we can add a percussive element with the thumb. What I'm doing here is I'm actually using the thumb and hitting it hard enough on the low E string, slapping it really, to get a nice kind of uh, like a, like a hi-hat sound even. Now this is a really cool combination, especially if you, if you follow it by plucking that E string as well, that low E string. So now we can do this. And so forth. So now if we were to combine this with the previous picking pattern that we just that we just went over, we get a nice variation. What I'll do is here, I'll actually use my thumb on the second beat and the fourth beat just to give it that nice little uh, kind of pop flavor, I guess you could you could say. So this is simply one variation. I can maybe play another one here for you guys just so you can see what kind of things can be done if we add this with some more melodic playing as well and some more percussive things as well. 
So this is how that would sound. So as we can see there, I was kind of incorporating some more melodic things in the higher strings just to give it some more life and a real melody that maybe you can sing along to as well. Uh, the last thing that we can actually do is incorporate some, some bass hits as well with the palm on the right hand. What I'm doing here as well is using a variation of the, the, the thumb slap technique that we just went over, followed by a uh, actual palm hit with the right hand on the, on, above the strings as well. So now we can get this kind of sound. So as we can see, if we combine these in any order, we can get a nice, very musical sound with these percussive elements. Uh, I would really highly suggest that you play these with other progressions as well. This is not limited to just these three chords. This can be applied to you know, jazz chords, which would sound like this even. This is simply one example that you can follow and uh, feel free to apply these to anything that you have written as well.